years. Yes, I still owe $610. They're taking $70 Half a week. Half of his wages. So up, up until the point that they started garnishing his wages, it was going into arrears, drawing interest, and now is over $92,606.06. Please tell the court, why do you have multiple men supporting your children? Your Honor, I'm a full-time nurse. This man has been paying child support for 15 years. He believes the child is not his and that it caused him and his family hardship. Mr. Connor, you say a one-time fling with the defendant turned into more than 15 years of child support payments and even jail time for a child. You need today's results to prove you are not her child's father. When asked how important the result is to him, here's a shocking revelation. I need to undo a terrible injustice that's been inflicted upon me and my family. It's caused a lot of problems, financially especially. I've even been to jail. Oh. For failure to pay for child failure support. failure to pay child support, that is correct, Your Honor. It's, it's making my character look real bad, Your Honor. I know for a fact that she know he's not my son. Yeah. Miss Wallace insists he's the father and revealed that his absence affected their son's needs when growing up. Tell the court, you say your son had to grow up without I, I guess. Ask Jeffrey. Ask him. He went to school with holes in his shoes. What relationship did he have with Miss Wallace? Check it out. You say the relationship with Miss Wallace was a one night stand. Yeah. Can you tell me about that? Do you well, remember okay. this relationship encounter? There wasn't a relationship. I met her through a family member. We came together one time, mm. and that was that. I never knew anything about Jeffrey. He thinks she tried setting him up, and he wants to be the father badly. Here's his reason. Do you remember being told she was pregnant? Only by the friend, and I blew that off because <gasps> a penetration act? She intentionally done this. That's a crime. And why would she intentionally trap you? At the time, I was doing pretty good. It's time for the son to give his testimony. Can you tell me, when was the first time you heard about Mr. Connor? Um, the first time that I met um, Jewett here was, I was like, what, 10 years old at that point. I remember my mom and some other family members were riding around East St. Louis, and they, we decided to stop through um, this drive through liquor store. And one of my family members was like, hey, that's your dad. Mr. Jewett's wife was asked to give her testimony, too. At this point, when Jeffrey was 10, was your husband paying child support for Jeffrey? Yes. He was paying child support for Jeffrey already. Um, and we didn't see Jeffrey again until he was, I want to say maybe like 15 or so. When asked about the Facebook post, his reply was touching. I decided to express myself on Facebook. And then as Ms. Trina said, she did reach out to me. And uh, they kind of both told me at that point that it's a possibility I may not be his child. And then when I hear them say, hey, I may not be his child, it got me thinking like, darn, my presence on this earth just made a negative impact on someone else's life. Oh. And it's time for the results. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Connor, you are not the father. I already knew it. A woman comes to court to prove to a man and his daughter what she had been certain of her whole life. He is her biological father. Miss Smith, you and your father, Mr. Wooten, are suing to prove Miss Backus is not his biological daughter. You say your dad owes more than $92,000 in back child support for a child who isn't his. She believes her father's life has been ruined by Miss Bacchus. How do you think Miss Bacchus has ruined your father's life? Primarily through the actions of her mother by uh, being very deceitful with my father from the very beginning of their relationship. So um, up until the point that they started garnishing his wages, drawing interest, and now is over $92,606.06. Here's why Miss Bacchus believes he is the father. And guess what I was conceived? I was conceived when a year later after him and my mother was together. And they was together for seven years, so you tell me. They were not together for seven years. Mr. Wooten would go on to explain his relationship with Miss Bacchus's mother. I met her mom, I think about two months after we met, uh, been together. She said she was pregnant. Four months after we was together, we broke up. 
Well, because Daddy, you and Mama got two different stories, and I'm coming to find out the truth. Because today. I realized that most of the things that she was only interested in was me helping her financially. Judge Lauren asked when he started doubting her paternity, but she wouldn't let him answer. Did you start doubting that? When she had... My mama said I was a plan she became tab. pregnant again, you're, we got together three weeks after we was together. Then she Father, no she disrespect pregnant. and not to interrupt you, but my mother told me y'all sat on the couch and she told me that you had said that you wanted another child. Yeah. That's what was told to sure. me. Miss Smith gave her testimony, but it doesn't sit too well with Miss Bacchus. I did grow up knowing that a child uh, was born at the end of their relationship. Yes. We did not discuss Miss Bacchus because we did not Girl, know make our, both our brothers one over way that, right? or another. Kid found me on Facebook a couple of years ago. Found me on Facebook, was praising me. I'm glad she brought evidence of the Facebook post. Look a lot. Let me see that evidence. Thank you. This is a Facebook post. Yes. That's a picture at my granny's funeral. And it says, gotta love your siblings, laugh out loud, I keep, my and I am my sister's keeper. My yes. grandmother made peace with me before she passed away. She told me that she do not like my mother at all. As Miss Smith tries to talk, she wouldn't stop interrupting her. She did not know everything that was going on. And so those experiences, seeing the different men. Time after time, different circumstances. You that a lie. That Why you lying on my mama like that, how bro? Much that see, you Ms. Daniels and, 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 and that is the today. basis of your doubt. It's time for the results. When it comes to Mr. Wooten Jr., you are not her father. Man refuses to pay child support for twins after he discovers that he is not the only man paying to support the babies. Paying for your twins after finding out another man was also providing money. Yes. Now you say you are seeking the results of a paternity test to prove he's their father and to get him to pay up once again. She claims the other man taking care of her children do so because of her. Coming through my life, you say you want to be with me. I'm not an ugly person. You're liking me. If you like me, show me. Prove it to me. Me and my kids need some help. So if you like me, I'd like that you would help me. Mr. Little, on the other hand, believes they help out because they think they are the father. Uh, oh, a personal mechanic. Yes, ma'am. She was looking for a vehicle, and I was helping her search for a good vehicle. So we spent a lot of time back and forth looking for cars. So you really are a car mechanic? Yes, ma'am. So in this process of looking for a car, you end up having sex? Yes, Your Honor. With Miss Clifton. That has never happened when I was looking for a car. <laughs> The judge had to ask her how that happened. A, a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, I was, I was looking for a vehicle. She told me, I know a place that you can go. The mechanic there, um, he's nice. He's supposed when to be single. When she said you need a good mechanic, didn't she mean just in your roller deck, not in your bed? Happened. While answering further, she would drop a bomb on the court. He was at my house. I made a joke to him, like, what would you do if I got pregnant? Just joke. And he was like, you can't do that. And I'm like, why? He said, because my wife would divorce me. A wife? Oh! I'm like, what is that? When did you get one of them? Wait a minute now, Mr. Little. Now you had a wife this whole time? He claims she had asked him for sex first. I can still pay you for services. Ms. Cl Clifton, she actually came on my job, then immediately she probably propositioned me for sex. Okay. When she informed him of the pregnancy, he accepted. So, what changed? At that point, you accepted that yes, you were the father. Oh. Yes, Your Honor. When did you start doubting? I get a, a random text from her texting this other guy about how much she loved him, cared for him, wanted to be with him, and oh, I appreciate everything you do for the kids. And I'm like, wow. Here's the evidence. Maybe a day or so went by. I never confronted her that I had gotten the text. I asked her, have they been together? She said, yes. He thinks you, think you were, were pregnant? pregnant by him. Okay, okay. so she Don't said lie, he, thought, you told he thought it was a possibility. Why would he think it was a possibility? But to her, there was no possibility. He knows Here's they miss the little children. He knows that they are not his. This man knows that. But Mr. Miller is upset. Him, you, don't, you don't got to know him. You don't got to. You don't have to. Okay. I don't know his wife. Okay, Your Honor. I don't know if she knows yeah. about my kids. Here's another reason for his doubt. I walked to the. I got my car. Walked to the door. I rang the doorbell. I'm waiting, and it's kind of odd because she always comes to the door because I have open door policy. She said, "Okay, so I'm waiting." And he does. She opens he does. it. I see the twins. So I set Pamela in the middle down, and I go to play with the twins. I'm playing with the twins. I see some random guy walk out of the back, walk past me. And goes out. out. The door. Yep. She claims she reaches out to her male friends whenever she needs money. You reach out to this man because you knew he liked you and you needed help. money. So yeah. you basically reached out to use him for the money? I, not to use him, but to get some help from him. I, I might reach out to you, Judge, if we ain't got nothing. I'm gonna reach out to the, to the money. She also brought a witness to court. About this situation. Well, first of all, my daughter's self sufficient. She's mm -hmm. always worked and gone to school, and I'm very proud of her. Sam started out being a proud father. 
And I think jealousy raised this ugly head, which made him stop. Yeah. And his old long head, no, I've I've always, his children. I've always take, take so what you're saying is it's time for the results. Mr. Little, <laughs> you are uh, not. Not. Oh. Not. What are you thinking? I don't know. Young, I thought they were. 